In this video, we discuss liftings of functors. So we start with the definition. If the following is a commutative diagram of functors, then R tilde is called the lift of R through G and G prime. We prove the following. Let S be a monad on a category F, FG be in a joint situation, and T be the induced monad on E of this joint situation. Then if R tilde is a lift on R through G US, then there exists a natural transformation, lambda, from SR to RT such that 1 lambda A to SR is equal to R A to T and lambda mu S R is equal to R mu T lambda T S lambda. In other words, the following diagrams commute. For the proof, we define delta to be the composition epsilon S R tilde F F S R A to T and we define lambda to be U S delta. To show one, we unwind the definitions, giving us the following equality. We then use string diagrams to show that this equality holds. The left-hand expression has the following string diagram representation. We have R followed by A to S, then A to T followed by R, F, S, U, S, and F, R tilde, epsilon S, U, S. We use the triangle identity for F, S, U, S, and reduce the diagram by pulling in this lobe. Then since composition of natural equalities is the same as just giving the horizontal composition of functors, we arrive at R A to T, which proves the first equality. For the second equality, we first write out the string diagram representations of lambda mu S and mu T. Then we need to show that mu T R followed by lambda given by the following string diagram is equal to S lambda followed by lambda T followed by R mu T given by the following string diagram. We note that the string diagram for epsilon s r is trivially equal to the following. Also the triangle identity for f g gives us the following equality of string diagrams. So we can make the substitution in the diagram above on the right, first for the subdiagram outlined in yellow, and then for the outer subdiagram in purple. This gives us the following. Then it is easy to see that this string diagram is equal to the one on the left by naturality. Therefore, the second equality also holds, which completes this proof.